Declaration of Independence quiz. Remember, you can stop the video at any moment. Just write the letter. Number one, who gives a people their natural rights? A, a king, B, God, C, the people. Two, what are the three natural rights that the Declaration of Independence says we have? Pick all of the right letters. A, right to life, B, right to speech, C, right to pursuit of happiness, F, right to be lazy, K, right to liberty, X, right to vote. Three, who does the government get its power from? <coughs> a, a king, which is absolutism. B, the people, popular sovereignty. C, God, which is divine right. X, the people, which is divine right. Four, what is true about the social contract between people and the government that is discussed in the Declaration of Independence? There are two correct answers. A, that people should have the power to change their government. B, that people should only get rid of the government when the government taxes them. C, that people should have the power to destroy their government and start over. D, that governments have the power to take away citizens' rights without their consent. Five, the first part of the Declaration of Independence is an open letter arguing against what? A, elected governments. B, absolute rulers, C, the enlightenment, X, slavery. <coughs> Sorry. Six, why did the founding fathers and Thomas Jefferson feel the need to list the wrongs of King George III? A, we were so done with the king that we wanted to slam him so hard that his own citizens revolted against him. B, the king had not been made aware of these wrongs and we wanted him to have a chance to fix them. C. We should have good reasons to break up, and if those wrongs are listed, neutral colonists and other nations will take us more seriously. 7. What is the best title for the chart? So A, B, or C will go where the question marks are at. The chart reads, The king kept standing armies in our houses without our consent. The king burnt our towns and plundered our seas. The king hired mercenaries and encouraged Indians to attack our settlements. Seven, once again, what is the best title? A, restrictions on the natural rights of colonists. B, restrictions on colonial trade. C, acts of violence the king put upon the colonies. Eight, what is the following wrong talking about? So the wrong is bolded for you for imposing taxes on us without our consent. Is that A, no taxation without representation? B, mercantilism? C, unfair justice in colonial courts? X, acts of anger against the Sons of Liberty. 9, 10, and 11 do require you to write out words. Just the answers, no complete sentences, none of these are very long. <laughs> 9. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. How is this phrase different than how things were during absolutism? How was it during absolutism? It can be probably two sentences max. 10. By signing the declaration, delegates were agreeing to go against their homeland. What is that called when you go against your homeland? It's a one-word answer. 11. According to the Declaration, citizens can alter or abolish the government if their government takes away what? It's a very specific answer. Back to multiple choice, just the letter. 12. It is believed that King George III was not very intelligent and had a mental illness. Why, then, was he able to be a king? A. The people kept voting for him. B. He killed his challengers to the throne. C. Divine right kept him in power. X. The people loved his jokes. 13. Our nation's birthday is on the day the Declaration was voted on and adopted, despite it being officially signed later. What date is considered the official birthday of our nation? A. July 4th, 1492. B. June 7th, 1941. C. July 4th, 1776. X, June 7th, 1776.
14. <coughs> Excuse me. The Declaration of Independence was created and signed in what? In which city? Also the home of the Continental Congress. Was it A, Boston, B, New York, C, Charleston, X, Philadelphia? 15. After the colonies declared independence, what did they have to do to make Britain recognize them as the United States? A, pay back their debt. B, win the Revolutionary War. C, send them the Declaration. X, gain allies. Sixteen. Consider the following quote by Benjamin Franklin. We must all now hang together or we will all surely hang separately. What does that mean? A. If the signers do not work together, they will lose the war and they will be executed as traitors. B. All the signers will die if they do not join the Continental Army. C. If the colonies in Britain don't work things out, both will lose money. The final set is extended thinking. It's stuff that you should be able to figure out. It applies what we've already learned. Once again, just the letter. 17. Which phrase from the Declaration supports the idea of popular sovereignty? Remember, look, consider the root words of popular and sovereignty, and it'll help you remember what the word means. So which of these phrases is popular sovereignty? A. Governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. B. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. C. That they are absolved from all allegiance to the British crown and that all political connection between them and Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved. 18. Who in the English colonies would have been most supportive of the Declaration of Independence? A. Enslaved people. B. Loyalists. C. Patriots. X. Redcoats. 19. Patrick Henry once said, I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. This quote is referring to which idea within the Declaration of Independence? A. Divine right. B. Natural rights. C. Checks and balances. X. Social contract. 20. Many times this year, I have said, if you do not understand something and I am going too fast, it is your responsibility to stop me so I can make things clear before we move on. This class policy is patterned after which enlightenment idea? A. Natural rights. B. Social contract. C. Divine right. 21. Consider the following change to the Declaration of Independence. So I made this up. We hold these truths to be self-evident that divine right is absolute, that citizens are protected by their ruler and endowed only with the rights that their ruler provides. This harmony allows tradition to last and the government to be successful. So you're going to select all that apply. Who would have agreed to this type of document? A. Loyalists. B. Patriots. C. Monarchs. X. Enlightenment thinkers. 22, all you got to do is list. You don't have to explain anything, but it is wording. What is one legal way that citizens can alter their government when it takes away their natural rights? We discussed at least two in class, if not three. For the extra credit, everything else must be answered. It doesn't have to be right, but it must be attempted. One. The student in the packet knows. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? Two, who wanted the Declaration of Independence to happen in September to get a day off school? Three, who is John Bull? Four, what was taken out of the Declaration of Independence because it was too controversial? And five, what is the nickname of the building where the Declaration was signed? Now, when you attempt these extra credit, you might be like, huh? Those seem really confusing. There's no options. Well, when you get done with the test, come up and show me. But I might tell you to take it back to your seat. There's a reason.